Hey guys, let's talk 4th of July. We got Independence Day. Maybe this is a Thanksgiving thing. But you can watch it on any holiday you like. We've got the Bicentennial Celebration Dispensers, uh, also known as Early Americans. Here it is on the header card up here. We've already done a video for the Indian Braves and the Indian Chiefs. These came out in the early 70s. Uh, here are some of the uh, the pipes with kind of the fun dip or, or uh, sugar that goes in them. But in any case, what we have here are the remaining human series, bicentennial. And you've got the Indian squaw or Indian maiden. You've got the pilgrim. Um, and let's I'll just do them in order. These are all going to be on either 2.6 Austria IMC3, like this one, on a really cool color stem. I can't remember if this comes on any other uh, dispenser. This is the Indian Squaw. You're going to find her also on a red stem, but that's not as exciting. And you can find her with a different color face, kind of, kind of a darker uh, skin tone. Pilgrim, it comes on, uh, this is what we call the Club Med face and the Caucasian or um, white face. Usually on a green stem. I'm not sure I've seen it on others. But if you want the yellow hat band, you're going to find it on the Club Med head. Don't be fooled by buying one without a headband on it, a hat band at all. They're out there uh, and not well described. Here's our captain. I'm not going to uh, touch him. That sticker it tends to uh, come off on some once the glue dries, and I'm not going to risk it. But this head, that head, uh, these heads, they're all the same. And, uh, and I think you'll find some other dispensers out there probably the same as well. This guy's going to come on the blue stem. He's got this blue hat, and his head kind of pokes through. Here's Betsy Ross. I think you're going to find her on a blue stem as well, and you can find her with a darker face. If uh, if you're looking for mint, make sure that the, the bow is well painted. Sometimes they're not, or it's rubbed off. Same with this guy, the wounded soldier. Uh, the brown hair. Sometimes the hair goes missing for some reason, or the hat band, but that red spot can be worn off as well. Watch for that. Uncle Sam, you find him in a couple of different uh, skin tones here, but you're also, you want to look at the hair. Make sure he's got a beard, by the way. Sometimes he doesn't. The hair, you can see there's, uh, the one on the left is more opaque, whereas the one on the right is more transparent. Uh, you can also see that the hair doesn't go all the way up. There's a band that kind of goes over the head and holds it on from these guys. Uh, Thor, if I'm not mistaken, is the same way. Or maybe it was this guy. I can't remember. Uh, I wonder, is the hair... I guess the hair is the same mold on these guys. Just different colors. Is that the same? No, that's different hair. I think. Nah. That's the same. Different colors. Uh, the hat band on Uncle Sam gets real dirty real fast. It's paper on Daniel Boone or the Trapper. And Trapper, uh, check it out. The, on the boxes, there it is right there, Trapper. That's on the vending box. The uh, This guy also has ones where the, there's two yellow stripes going across instead of this yellow straight down. What else to tell you about these guys? Uh, I don't know. This is the complete collection. Unless you're collecting different stems, different skin tones, I tend to think I've got enough. Do I need a wounded soldier with a lighter face? Eh, maybe for the right price, but you know, at about 150 bucks a pop here, well, at least 75, depending on, you know, if you're shopping on the on the cheap on eBay and taking the risk, uh, and up, it gets a little expensive to start buying all the variations. So happy fourth, everybody.